And good evening, and apologies for being slightly late tonight. We had some uh, technical issues there, which involved pulling the plug out and putting it back in again. I'm, not, I'm not actually kidding. <laughs> switching it off and switching it back on again. It's the best way to fix things. Oh dear. Right, well, it's Sunday, the 1st of December, 2013. It's Dave's Tackle Box, and uh, I'm quite pleased with the number of people who are in chat tonight, because we had a bit of a competition. We had some competition tonight, didn't we, mate? Just a good one, And Because uh, there's all sorts going on tonight, and, uh, and we'll be covering some of it. So, uh, But first... The titles. And here we are. Now, I said there just at the beginning, I hinted at the fact uh, that there's a lot going on tonight. And uh, not least of all, I've got a total replace of just about everything I'm using to broadcast tonight. And, uh, well, so far it's not as rock solid as it was intended to be. <laughs> but but we're running. We're running, aren't we, mate? Apparently yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I said like there's a lot going on. Okay, so there's uh, we're going to be looking tonight at Twitter bombs, petitions, um, and uh, and talking about the events of this week that have led up to, to this kind of reaction that we're seeing. And uh, in the interests uh, of um, being kind to my first guest tonight, which is not him, it's, uh, it's Davey Malik. Uh, I know he's got to go and do kid things and stuff like that haven't you mate so so we're, we're gonna have you on first but uh davy first thing i want to do is let's get you on screen let's get you on screen here he is here he is look everyone it's dave malik hello everyone Yay! and uh and how you doing you've you've been on a bit of a sabbatical ain't you mate i have yes i've had a fair few things going on in my life at the moment but uh it's all coming together slowly Excellent to hear. Excellent to hear. Now you wanted to, you've you fought and protested and screamed until we let you on the show tonight, didn't you, mate? Because because <laughs> there's something going on tomorrow, I believe. In Wolverhampton. There is, yes. um, there is a, a protest going on in Wolverhampton um, outside the Civic Centre. It's been organised by Midlands Vaping, um, and the way it's looking at the moment, there's going to be a lot of people there. We're going to have banners up. There's flyers everywhere. Um, I'll be going along, I'll take as many pictures as I can um, and put something together for the show. But it's looking like uh, this is something I think should be done in every major city throughout the EU. Go out and make a protest, make a stand for your rights. Yeah, that, that's absolutely an excellent idea and, uh, and, and a suggestion that I, I definitely agree with. Um, so so what, what's the actual drill? If people are in the area and can make it up, uh, when is it, first of all? Yeah, it's tomorrow morning from 10 o'clock. Um, it's St Peter's Square outside the Wolverhampton Civic Centre. So if you can make it there, let's get as many people as possible there. Um, I know local media has been involved. We've had the local newspaper printed an article last night. Um, I believe ITV and the BBC have been informed that this is going to be going ahead. So we're kind of hopeful that they might show up. Don't know whether they will, but hopefully they will. Um, but it, it, it's all looking very positive. 
It sounds bloody brilliant, to be honest with you, mate. It's a fun, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it across tomorrow morning, uh, uh, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> but uh, sort of coincidentally, I will be at the Civic Hall on Friday night. <laughs> but that's probably not a lot... <laughs> <laughs> to see the damned but uh, that's probably not a lot of use to, to your protest um dave what do you think of this mate i think it's a damn good idea um people making their voices heard in a visible and verbal way which is as it should be of course that's exactly what's required vapors being voters and getting out there and letting people know this will resonate quite highly of course with your uh, your local labor mep ms glennis wilmot She's going to be uh, informed about this big style. Yes, she will. So it's, it's not her constituency, though, sadly. Oh, is it not? No, because uh, uh, Glennis and I am um, East Midlands these days. Ah, uh, but where I grew up was West Midlands, and that's where Wolverhampton is. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure who is uh, your uh, local Labour MEP. Do you know, Davey? Um, I don't know them offhand. Um, but what I can tell you as well is that I wrote to them again all last week. And I haven't had one reply. I haven't had an acknowledgement that I've sent anything out to them. Um, I've not had anything. I asked them all because what I wanted to do was get a forum together and get a load of us vapors to ask them the questions and see what their answers were. Um, I've not had anything back. So this is another reason why um, Midlands Vaping have helped put this together so that we can all just get in front of them and show them that we actually mean business. We're not going to sit down and just sit behind our computers and type things out we're actually going to go out there and do something about it that's brilliant mate that that's exactly the way it should be as well you know um yeah they, they, they might ignore uh, an email or, or a letter or whatever but they uh, they can't ignore them um, ignore you if you're standing in the doorway can they exactly. Bums on seats. Yeah. no it's impossible to ignore the more people the merrier brilliant i love it shout a lot for me oh we will do get lots of pictures yeah I will do, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yeah, and we'll be we'll be on at you tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. See how it all went. Yeah, that's fine. Well, as soon as I get back, I'll let you all know. I'll upload my pictures and try and get some kind of video there so that you can all see what happened. Fantastic. So that's uh, outside the Wolverhampton Civic Centre, which is bang in the centre, isn't it? Yep, it is. It's St Peter's Square. St Peter's Square, that's it. I nearly said that and I wasn't sure. I wasn't confident enough. <laughs> so, uh, my mother's family came from Wolverhampton, and that's, uh, but I, I don't actually visit there that often. Um, they've all moved away now. Uh, from 10am, for as long as it goes on, I guess. Yep, exactly. Yep. We've got flyers to hand out and there'll be banners up and everything. Brilliant. So brilliant. come and hand lend a hand if you can get there it'd be brilliant well I, I know everybody that's watching this uh and there's quite a few actually because considering there's a twitter bomb and everything going on as we speak uh which we'll yeah. be having a look at in a bit uh it's it's good that some people have at least got an ear on vttv tonight <laughs> I'm, I'm bombing yeah I, I wondered what you were doing yeah, it I'm was bombing. just slightly off camera so <laughs> i wasn't going to mention it just in case you know yeah what is it going <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be typing anything in because I can't do everything at once. But I'm bombing. I'm retweeting and, and quoting left, right, and good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Uh, are you going to go and join in with the Twitter bomb now? Are you, mate, Davy? Oh yeah, definitely. Enjoy it, mate. Enjoy it, and best of luck for tomorrow. I hope it goes brilliant. Cheers, Dave. And I'll uh, how it goes. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for stopping in because I know you were busy tonight. Thanks for uh, bringing us up to date. No problem at all. Thanks for having me. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, Davy. Bye. And we're back in the room. Okay, yes. So, yeah, there's there's an awful lot going on in there. There's an awful lot going on. Where should we start? Should, should we start with the Twitter bomb? Well, we'll wait as well, because apparently the first vet has been suspended already and he's in Twitter jail. That didn't take long. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. <laughs> uh, guess as to who it is. Go on. Well, it's very boring. He's always the first one. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously got very quick uh, Twitter fingers. He's obviously retweet, 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 quote, retweet, retweet. I've seen about 73 come in from him. That's brilliant, that. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just uh, get this up on screen. Uh, if we go back to where Davy Mallet once was and i've just done a quick search on twitter for eu easing ban 
there's shed loads. I've got nothing but that in my stream at the moment. And there does seem to be a fair amount of activity going on there. While I'm doing that... There's a somebody yeah. here called David Dawn. Who? Yeah, I'd never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> Some, somebody impersonating Hi-Fi Study, whoever that is. Yeah, I'm, yeah. can't spell thousands, though. I'm, re I'm just retweeting this. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you're followed by Chris Choi. I am. So, there you go. Oh, even next door's dog's getting in on the act. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't that be next, day, next door's budget? If we're tweeting. Um, right. To embark. Right. Let's let's count to ten. Oh, look at that! I just refreshed the page with twenty new results, and then another twenty came straight away. And uh, I've, yeah. I've, well, I've, you can't see it from here, but I've, I've set the PC so that I can see how many's come through since the start of the show because I refreshed the page just before the show started. Right. I have on uh, hashtag eSigs. Yeah. 720 new results. That's in <laughs> just over 15 minutes. I'll just do a quick bit of retweeting while I'm here because it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? I think there so. There go, just a couple like because I'm supposed to be presenting a live TV programme. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, you know. You shocked me. There we go. Just, just well, a couple more. A couple more. There we go. go on. Ooh, retweet. Ooh. And there's another one. Um, What's this one? Who's that person? Dunno. Retweeted. Bang. Retweet. Where's my shirt when I'll quote that one? No, come on, come off, you swing. That is big. Too long to walk. There we go. Excellent. Right, I'm just going to have a quick look at uh, our, our live broadcast page and see what's going on in there. Yes, yes, yes. Picture of the blog, though. Yeah, all sorts going on in there as well. People speaking German. Hang on a minute. Wooly Vapen says, Dave Dawn, the most tech-savvy 35-year-old this century. 35? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but can I just say, you should have got the spec service. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> so yes so there's a lot of twitter bombing going on and, yes, and I, th yes. I think just 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 while that's going on and uh I we'll, we'll let that continue but let, let's just reflect on what has been a pretty busy week in fact a better idea let's take our first ad break and then we'll reflect on what i think genuinely has been the busiest week Ever I can't in the history of the world. I can't argue with that one. Really can't. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Cloud Nine Vaping sponsors of Dave's Tackle Box. And welcome back. And uh, there's a quick sort of over-the-shoulder shot of the tech. And basically, we've got Twittery things going on here, and Skypey things going on over here, and Dawn things going on here. And um, yeah, there you go. 
yeah, he waved. And uh, yeah, and we're going to try and keep tabs on what's going on. So, Dave, you, you had a count there on the latest. Uh, was it the 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 e cigs hashtag? Is that right? Just the e cigs hashtag. Yes, the EU e cig ban one. Uh, hash e cigs is giving eight hundred and seventy. No, eight hundred and ninety-eight. It just shut up twenty. Um, so <laughs> and that's just on the hash e cigs. Never mind the hashtag EU e cig ban or hashtag EU. Good grief. Well, I don't have a count, but uh, I currently have 79 new results on EU e Um So, uh, and another 20, apparently. So. And actually, that's just gone on, and it changed that, because that was just the top ones. If I go at the hall and leave it there, the flame up at the rate of not so we'll call that 900 for that one. Um, <laughs> you know, that's I'm, I'm going to say I'm awfully pleased that we've uh, we've got the numbers that we've got here because that means they haven't all decamped across to see that damn stupid Van Eesings bloke here and here. Have you got that up? Um, well, let's just say that I'm hoping that something will happen on that. Um, I'm going to... Uh, well, shall we have a look? Shall we have a look? Um, there is uh, a website that's appeared over the last couple of days and, um, you know, probably shouldn't really do this, but I'm going to... <laughs> well, you see a website, but my definition of a website is one that is usually correctly spelled and properly punctuated. Well, yes, and this one—it's called Bain Sigs, <laughs> as you can see from the header there. Uh, and he's obviously uh, taken some inspiration from the Save E Sigs uh, logo, I think. And uh, he's actually holding a Q and A session tonight uh, on his Facebook page. Uh, I believe, but I'm not sure if anything's actually happening. But let's let's look in because you know we, we like to report the news. We do. Um, uh, is here we go. He's referring here to a Q and A tomorrow at nine p.m. Uh, it's now nine twenty-three, and I can't see much going on there. Yeah, there's somebody else asking him here about it. It looks like that's going to be a bit of a no-show, Dave, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so upset. And that's a shame because I wanted to put the uh, contra point of view. But anyway, if you are interested in uh, in banning e and you may be, you may be, uh, if if you want to, uh, it, that's banesigs, uh, what was it, dot .com or dot .co.uk? Dot .co.uk. Dot .co. Dot co. It's pointless because, quite honestly, it's just not, not readable. Um, yeah, be prepared to work at it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. To be fair to the guy, he is a polyglot. He's illiterate in every language on the planet. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, I mean, by all means, give it a read. That's Bainsigs, all one word, .co.uk. <laughs> and um, you, you, you can... Um, uh, basically, he thinks that e-cigs should be banned because he can't smoke because he's a smoker. Um he thinks that people who use e-cig should use NRT. That, to be honest, that in some places he thinks that, and in others he doesn't. But uh, <laughs> but by all means, uh, uh, look him up. And uh, seems like a nice enough guy anyway. So he doesn't like swearing apparently. And I don't blame him. Uh, oh, so God, it's terrible. He, he's actually also running a petition, uh, which we can we can take a look at. <laughs> and this has been running for a couple of days now, so I guess it's still got to get off the ground really. Um, but you know, uh, you can see it's currently received seven signatures, and um, can you see the names on the signatures? Uh, no, ah, <laughs> no. you mentioned Donald Duck to fully support. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just wondering how many email addresses he got with his Bain Sigs website. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, that that's um. That's uh, oh, I, I didn't actually put that on the screen. There you go. If you're interested, uh, this is epetitions dot direct dot gov dot uk, and it's petition number four three zero six five. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to increase the number of votes by what is that about fifteen percent, just click there. Actually, and, but on a, on a very very serious note, I mean that is on a proper sanctioned government e-petition site and if it doesn't rise very much further than that there is brilliant evidence of how much 
the UK population would like to see e-cigs banned. When you consider that currently the uh, the petition that's been tweeted for the last three days, which is now standing at 12,500, I think it is, um, has achieved that in three days, versus seven in the same three days from being cigs. Um, I think that says it all, don't you? <laughs> oh, I think it says quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh yes uh, it, yes i mean great you know um it, yeah uh, it's difficult to know what to say <laughs> he started this uh, uh this campaign on twitter to get support for this and uh he's got seven signatures which i guess that's his immediate family maybe not maybe they're not interested either no, no, I, I, I happened to be tweeting live with someone yesterday when they signed with three separate email addresses with three completely bogus IDs. And they, they, were, they were the kind of joke IDs that would make it perfectly obvious that there was no support for what it was about. So obviously he signed it, his mum and dad have signed it, and I think he's probably had their dog sign it, but outside that, nothing. <laughs> Possibly. Could have, been, could have been a shit, because the guy's Welsh, you know. But anyway, you touched there on the subject of petitions, didn't you? I did. And, uh, right, is well... This, let's, is this a seamless link? Sorry, th that was, <laughs> yes, a segue, I believe. <laughs> segue into yeah. So, yeah. the uh, petition, if I can find it. Here we go. Right, I'm just going to flick this up on the screen because this petition... Uh, I'd be surprised if there's anybody watching this show live right now who hasn't seen this already because uh, we've tweeted it to death. It's been tweeted now as part of the Twitter bomb. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that. We've caught it on 11.999. I said we'd make 12,000 during the show, didn't I? You did. And uh, it looks like that's going to happen. So I'll leave that on screen till it happens because literally this is getting... Uh, it's been 40 seconds since we've had uh, a signature. That, I think that's about as long as I've seen it go. You can see it ticking away there, 46, 47. I'll leave it up there for a little while longer. Um, at times during uh, yesterday and today, because I think this was launched yesterday, may maybe Friday night, and it's just gathered momentum, and uh, it's up to uh, near as damn it, 12,000 seconds, uh, 12,000 signatures in the space of two days. It would be lovely if we could get this petition to 20,000 before the third. Remind us of the significance of the third. There it goes, 12,000 up. Lovely, jubbly. The Fantastic. Couldn't have planned that better, really, could we? Not, not, not easily, no. Not easy. Um, yes, the third, it, it, yes, it's, it's gone to 12,000 here on the iPad as well. Um, the third is quite important because that's the next meeting of Trilog to discuss the TPD, um, which is an interesting one, uh, a very, very interesting one indeed. And if any of our German viewers can help us out here a little bit, we are hearing that uh, Karl Heinz Florence, in his infinite wisdom, has decided to, uh, if you like, avoid the whip from EPP, and he's quite keen to sell out to the Commission's new proposals, which we spoke about last week. Um, so perhaps those of you in Germany would like to get hold of uh, EPP. Um, MEPs and just advise them of his uh, infidelity is one word, I suppose. Yeah, um, it, it, it is an absolute shocker, isn't it? Because uh, you know, I mean, I, th I think uh, what 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 gets my goat most about uh, about uh, what's his face Florence um, is that, that when this all started to roll and we're getting on for twelve months ago now. Uh, it, we thought we could count on this guy, didn't we? Carl Heinz Florence. Yeah. Well, yes, given given what his uh, attitude towards the uh, de-restriction and legalisation of, of currently restricted drugs, and we're talking about blow and weed and snort and various other stuff, um, we thought, yeah, that's going to be crap in that. And then, of course, he turns out, for some reason, to be anti-nicotine. I don't know whether that's anything to do with the company he keeps. Who can say well, you, you can only really speculate, can't you? Only he knows for sure. But it, it, it seems the position he's taking now is very inconsistent with uh, some of his other beliefs anyway, doesn't it? Very much. And, uh, and so the, the, 
during this trilogue process, uh, we, we reported last week, uh, we hinted last week about what was uh, the story that eventually broke on Monday, thanks to Dr. Farsalinos, um, uh, that the EU uh, presidency was putting its oar in uh, with that ridiculous string of proposals which came to pass and it looks like uh, Florence is, uh, is, uh, is is open to uh, open to uh, accepting it by the looks of yeah. things. Well, Dan, Dan Kett, Stephen, in chat has said Florence is the biggest A-S-G-F-K-L-A-S It's a German word that I can't pronounce I but it doesn't German look... German from turncoat maybe? Could be something along those lines. Uh, yes. Yeah. She's, she's not very happy with him. But you you can't. Other, sorry. Thing, sorry. Uh, just while we're talking about trialogue and what's going on there, um, I haven't had this confirmed yet, so it's rumor mill. But rumor has it that the trialogue, that the uh, council, got the commission legal department to let them know what the legal standing of all this is, and the commission's legal department, according to the rumor mill, and I'm seeking confirmation has told counsel and trialogue that you cannot legally um, regulate ACIDs as medicines. You can either regulate them under consumer regulation, which they already are in most of the EU, or you have to ban them outright. But you can't do meds regs. That's the rumour flying about. That's what they've been told. It'll be interesting to see what happens on the third, because they should in theory, chuck the lot at that point and say, right, well, we can't, so why don't we park it and let's do everything else? But my feeling is that they're just going to keep on ploughing on. So yeah, they know yeah. that what they're doing is illegal. They know what they're doing is illegal and they're still going to carry on. So we need to put the pressure on, get talking to MPs, MPs, because it's council. Council will do this. And I'm, I'm seeing in chat that Norway is looking at lodging a, uh, a reservation and I think the UK should be as well yes absolutely right absolutely right uh, right let's do a quick uh, bomb update uh, I've got 120 new results since my last refresh on uh, EU eSig ban how are you doing there on eSigs I've got 460 new results <laughs> on hashtag eSigs look there's David Malik is he there? He was on the telly just. Was he? E-cigs are saving lives and a safer alternative to lit tobacco, not to mention providing jobs. It's also is true. Can't argue with that. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, there's another 20. Yeah, I've just gone to 480 as well. Fantastic. Fantastic I stuff. I might even pop the EU E-cig ban up, uh, the EU E-cig ban hashtag and see what that's doing after the next break that would be good why not just just to take us up to that break just want to touch on uh you know uh i, I mentioned before that, that, that uh, this is as exciting a week as i can remember in vaping uh starting uh li literally after we did our show on uh, on sunday night and we, we we gave people a bit of a heads up about the the the, the uh, european presidency proposals um I actually obviously was flying out to Switzerland early on Monday morning and I was in the lounge at the airport and saw that it had broken. <laughs> so it must have been late Sunday night, uh, early Sunday. I might have been on the train, but but before I got to work anyway, I saw that the story had broken and thought, ah, here we go. Now, I, I, um, I whilst it was not a shock because we kind of knew it was coming, um, I'd also got myself into the mindset that actually this isn't necessarily a bad thing because this is going to get a reaction, you know. And I have to say the reaction has been absolutely fantastic, hasn't it? Hasn't it just? Twelve thousand signatures in forty-eight hours, or thereabouts. Uh, six months ago, we couldn't have made that happen. True. And uh, and I actually think that 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 uh, that. that that leak in that document has had an effect that is really going to start to swing things in our favour, I think. Because people are pissed off now. Well, you know what, when you, when you sit and look at it, I mean, 
I know I've been banging on about this kind of stuff for far too long and people get bored with it and I know that, I understand that. But the fact of the matter is, we, we did show on the 8th of October, or the MEPs in the European Parliament showed on the 8th of October that if um, the public, we as vapors make our voices heard, they are listened to by the people who should be listening. And that's, that's brilliant. And now that this has been leaked about where they're going, we know we can do that. We just need to do it again. And it's been brilliant to see people banding, banding together to, to make their voices heard. But Twitter's not the be all and end all. We also need to be doing the emails and we need to be making those appointments to see MPs. And don't, don't even ever think that, well, it'll be too late. It's not going to be too late. Because even though this kind of gets past Christmas, we can still force changes. Bear in mind, the numbers are growing exponentially. Um, and we've got another couple of years where we can force the hand and make them look at it again. You know, they know it's illegal. Um, they know it's illegal. They're being told that even as we speak. But yeah, I mean, it does make you proud to be part of this community, doesn't it, Dave? <laughs> Absolutely, it makes you proud. I was always proud to be part of it, but now I actually feel like we're achieving something. I think people are actually stepping up to be counted now. Um, we've got complete unity across certainly the entire UK vaping community. Everybody's weighing in. All the people who your names you recognise, reviewers, people who run websites, everything, are working towards the same thing here. And that hasn't happened often enough. And maybe this is the right time. Maybe it's only necessary now. But, uh, you know, th 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 we're now talking with a loud enough voice and in such numbers they can't ignore us. Let's get down their throats. Let's get in their faces. The sort of thing that uh, David Malik's going to tomorrow. Let's get that kind of thing happening. Let's get that kind of thing happening. Dave, let's take our second break now. And when we come back, I want to have a look at a couple of stories just to remind people that not everybody thinks like we do. And there's still a lot of work to be done. Oh, God, yes. Um, 657 new results. I'll reset the EU ECIP ban. Okie dokie. And uh, just before I cut to the break, I'll do... I've got another 60 on here. I've never got a count to start with. But it's a lot. Loads. Loads and loads. There's people vaping in French. I think I've seen some Greek. Some languages I simply don't recognise. Uh, yes, I've, I've seen a lot that I can't good read. Good thing. <laughs> I've seen a lot that I can't read, but I've seen the hashtags. I'm retweeting. Hey, it's brilliant, brilliant. Let's take a break. Cloud Nine Vaping sponsors of Dave's Tackle Box. in Yorkshire for your ECG needs. That's iVaper.co.uk and iVaper-Elixir.co.uk iVaper and iVaper-Elixir.co.uk Proud sponsors of VaporTrails.tv And welcome back. Okay, so uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it may look like we're distracted, and it's because we are a little bit because we're like, refreshing pages and sort of hasn't. There's been another Retweet. sixty since uh, since we took that break that I that I've seen here. That's on, uh, on EU e sigban. 
Yeah, that's what I'm searching as well now. Absolutely brilliant stuff, frankly. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm seeing that there's more and more people are ending up in Twitter jail, so... Yes! Uh, <laughs> and, and I'm hearing that we're very close to 16,000 instances of the hashtags. 16,000? Yep. Wow. That's brilliant. That's incredible. Right. Uh, just uh, on the subject of uh, Twitter, then, um, there's this thing running now as well, called, uh, a thunderclap. Now, mm -hmm. we used one of these, didn't we, for the Kickstarter campaign for Smoke Without Fire? We did. Uh, let's get this up on the screen here, and uh, we'll make sure these links are around. They're not hard to find. Uh, but this is basically a tool whereby you get people to sign up uh, for a thunderclap. And you do this with your Twitter or your Facebook ID or both. Uh, and the idea is that we have to get 500 um, uh, supporters by the 3rd of December at noon. Uh, so this is to coincide with the trilogue discussions. And uh, this has been run by Planet of the Vapes, as you can see below. Uh, this takes... It doesn't take long at all. All you've got to do is go and sign up. Uh, when you first come on, these buttons here that you can see on the screen will be in orange for Twitter and Facebook. I, I don't use Tumblr, so I can't really do much with that one. Uh, but basically, I click that box and give this the thunderclap thing permission to tweet on my behalf. And it's going to send a message, which all my supporters will see to my Twitter and Facebook followers. Um, and... If 500 of us do it, that's quite that. That's one hefty volume of tweets and Facebook posts that will and, be and posted. The hefty volume is that exactly. Um, when I went and signed up, it told me that in total, my reach, my personal reach on this, is going to be over 4,000 people that will see that message. And that's just with me. If there's 500 of us all doing this thunderclap, that's going to get out to good lot above. 200,000 people will see it. 200,000 people. I was going to say, it's more than 40, isn't it? Just a bit. <laughs> yeah, to, be, to be even more precise, it's got more than seven BN6s. <laughs> more than seven. Poor old Bain. I'm actually starting to feel a bit sorry for him. I might sign his petition later. Actually, um, I, I, and just, just so people know, I will show them what seven looks like. <laughs> right uh you can see here actually uh the point that dave was just making there and you can see there's a figure there social reach so the 251 people that have uh supported it so far have got a reach here of 64,211 people are gonna get the message does that mean everybody else but me's got a reach of 60,000 i feel upset man. <laughs> 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 uh, so there you go so we need to get this to 500 because that's that's the downside to this thing if we don't make 500 it doesn't get it's sent happened. yeah so uh, so we need to make sure that happens so get on there um, the uh, link to this is being tweeted quite a lot at the moment actually it's, uh, yes it's going into our chat even as we speak the team fantastic thank you the team, team is thank you team so it saves me having to put music down anyway, because I was going to do it. <laughs> it's your wonder, I'm a fan of that. Oh, can I just say, Joe Lincoln has, has eight minutes ago tweeted an absolute cracker. Question, what do you call an MEP who supports hashtag EU eSig ban? Answer, unemployed. I like it. Love I it. like it. I like that one. Yeah, there are some crackers going past. Thank you, Chris. Cat there for posting the link into our chat. That's the thunderclap thing. Do it now. It'll open in a new window. You can still listen to us. You're multitasking. Everybody's multitasking. Tonight. Unless you're on an iPad, in which case it's going to be a challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. There's, there's a secret. There's a secret. There's two. There's two. Yes, do not attempt on dial up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that, now you've told us that would be my advice so. <laughs> excellent uh, so I hope chat are having a good time anyway there's 125 people uh, sort of listening I'm not sure if they're watching so, <laughs> it's a good job we don't do this in sign in it so. you know what you've just said don't you yeah can I have another beer please 
Ralph thought it was, it was more along the lines of six to four, the run, and uh, <laughs> five quid on the favourite. <laughs> Uh, very boring, and he's got nothing else to do but watch well, this. Is he is he tw- I saw his comment go past earlier. It took 14 minutes for him to get banned this time. Anyway, the, we've got a couple of articles that we want to look at, which which I, I think are very interesting. Anyway, um, uh, the first one is uh, a link. I think it came from Lorian originally. I think that's where I saw it from. Ooh. And uh, from Lorian? Yeah, I know. I know. Yes. Sorry, I'll show you. You know that that the, the the sensible one, the one that basically is your show. <laughs> it's the only reason I tune it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean no, that. Div. Didn't mean. Don't don't leave me. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, right so there's uh this this is an article and uh and i must admit it's an organization i'd never heard of and uh, i was just uh, looking just before we came in oh, this this is uh, a, a, an organization or a, f- a facility called pubmed.gov and it's a u.s governmental thing uh it's the ncbi information service which is in turn the national center for biotechnology information and uh, this is like it's an abstract uh, of a study that they've done uh, and this is kind of a repository for these sort of studies and medical sort of studies that that, that, that the organizations do in the US and this one's entitled looks like smoking is it smoking uh, let's get it on screen so you guys can see it it's uh, it says children's perceptions of cigarette like nicotine delivery systems smoking and cessation uh, abstract background alternative cigarette like nicotine delivery systems have met, been met with diverse opinions that that's putting it mildly mm-hmm. one concern has been for the effect on children we investigate whether children can differentiate tobacco cigarette smoking from use of a nicotine inhaler and electronic cigarette their opinions on these devices was also of interest uh, so in plain English, they want to know if children mistake e-cigs for smoking. Uh, the methods they used, two structured focus groups and 12 individual interviews were conducted with 20 Maori and Pacific children aged 6 to 10 years old in low socio- socio-economic areas in Auckland, New Zealand. Children viewed short video clips on an iPad that demonstrated an actor smoking a tobacco cigarette, sucking a lollipop or using an electronic cigarette or a nicotine inhaler. The results. Children did not recognise the inhaler or electronic cigarette. Some children did, however, notice anomalies in the smoking behaviour. Once told about the products, the children were mostly positive about the potential of the inhaler and electronic cigarette to assist smokers to quit. Negative perceptions were expressed, including views about the ill health effects associated with continued nicotine intake and the smoker's inability to quit. Um, We'll we'll, we'll examine that when I finish reading the, the, the thing out, I think. Uh, It then draws some conclusions. In a context unfamiliar with electronic cigarettes or nicotine inhalers, such as New Zealand, uh, I thought that was a place, not a context, but there you go, children may may misperceive use of these products as smoking. That sounds pretty bad on the face of it, doesn't it? But it then goes on to say, but once these products are more common and the purpose of them is known, seeing people use them should normalise quitting behaviour something the children were very supportive of. Mm -hmm. Now, that's kind of a long-winded and roundabout way of saying that kids were actually put off the idea of smoking because these products were clearly helping people quit. Their words, not my words. Yes. But but what it does seem to do is totally destroy the argument that children may see this as something cool and attractive and may act as a gateway to smoking. Would you agree? Well, when you think about it, it, it actually it hadn't occurred to me um, originally, but these, these were very young children. Six to uh, ten, yeah. 
yes, very young children. And they took the stance that I've seen from the children of other people I know who use e-cigs and had a smoking habit prior to that, where they are very, very proud of mummy and daddy or and or daddy, whichever, of actually not smoking. And they, you know what kids are like, out of the mouths of babes and sucklings and so on and so forth. Yes. And they will, they will, they, they do walk up the people that are smoking cigarettes and say, you should use that A-cig like what my daddy does because he will not die and you will. <laughs> they, actually, they understand the benefit of E-cigs way better than some of those who would oppose us. They really do. They, <laughs> well, they actually get it. I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. Now, uh, so, I mean, no doubt because this uh, gives uh, portrays e-cigs uh, in, in, in a relatively positive light. This one won't get an airing amongst the trialogue committee. Um, but it is interesting to see that, that you know, I mean, that w whenever there's actually any sort of proper research, the kind of research and uh, and medical organisation around the research, if you like, that the people are actually telling us we need, whenever there is any, it's saying that there's no issue. That's exactly right. It's, so, you know, I mean, the, 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 there's so many, isn't there? There's, there's so many sort of uh, aspects of this entire uh, the, the proposal that just don't add up. Well, you... You kind of look, I, I keep looking at all of this now, look at the various dis different surveys that are done and and people who keep on bleating the think of the children. Right. <laughs> and yeah, come on then, let's think of the children here. If this, uh, the results of this study, which is, is, is fairly small, let's be honest, um, but if the results are replicated worldwide, there is a very young generation, the, the generation that's barely out of mathematics, the generation that includes my grandson, um, who will grow up knowing what e-cigs are and knowing that in terms of risk to their health and the health of other people around them, if we're to believe what we're told, then why would they even think of trying out a tobacco cigarette, even if they did decide that yeah. an e-cig was the way for them to go when they get to the age where they want to be, you know, slicking the hair back and wearing the drapes and drain pipes. I'm showing the age, it's not 35. Um, they're going to go for an e-cig because they know that's the way to go. And we end up in a very, very short length of time, given the, the scale of things, where nobody will be using, or virtually nobody will be using, lit tobacco, and it will all have happened by freedom of choice, without coercion, without demonization, without people being trod on and dehumanized, they'll have chosen to do that over a period of no longer than 20 years. That has got to be the biggest win that public health will ever have if you are to believe the rhetoric that they keep on pushing down our throats. And surveys like this just bolster that view. It, 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 everything I'm seeing coming from the folks that are experts in this field, the likes of Flau, the likes of uh, Uzek, the likes of Etta, the likes of, of Peter Hyatt. And, and it really is everybody, isn't it? That I, I can't think of one uh, actually properly conducted study that reaches any different conclusion. Absolutely right. And then you get the folks that are looking for the money, the rent seekers, are saying, well, it's got to be medicines, so otherwise where are we going to get our funding from? Basically. And yeah. I, I, hate, I, hate, I hate to have to say that. I, 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 I even have some sympathy if you've made your money out of telling people they shouldn't smoke. The money might run out after this. Well, yeah, because if nobody's smoking, there's nobody to tell them not to smoke. But... The, People who uh, sort, of, sort of think like that, uh, they, they can take some solace in the fact that articles like the next one that I'm going to show you from the Daily Mirror are still around. This is why we can't rest on our laurels. This is why we have to continue to dispel the ridiculous myths that are being pushed around. Let me show you this one. 
Uh, this is uh, coming from the Daily Mirror. Oh, yes. Yes. And the headline, st- it starts well. Tobacco companies pushing e-cigs on youngsters via Facebook and Twitter. And I'm not going to grace this. I mean, with reading the whole thing out, but it's basically uh, a, a report uh, based on some quotes from Alison Cox from Cancer Research UK's head of tobacco policy. Ah. I, I, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to have a little rant here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do it. Why does a cancer research fund have a tobacco policy department? Why do they need a head of tobacco policy? You're supposed to be finding a cure to cancer. You know, because that's what people think they're donating. When they give money to Cancer Research UK, they think you're trying to cure cancer. Just wanted to get that out of my system. Um, uh, Yes, other cancer charities are available. Um, but this particular one, Alison Cox is saying there's evidence in the report, particularly on social media, of e being promoted as cool and the latest thing and applying all the kinds of marketing ploys that would be used would be used to attract a youth market, including involving pop stars, computer games and one e company even sponsoring a football youth team strip. Right. I- I'm not going to read the rest out. Uh, yeah. It's uh, yeah, I am. Professor Gerard Hastings, I've got, I can't let this one go. <laughs> Report co-author at the University of Stirling said the fact that multinational tobacco companies are moving in on this market is of particular concern. From past experience, we know they are deceitful, determined, and deeply detrimental to public health. That's that sentence isn't very good English. No, it's not. The things they promoted might not be might be deeply detrimental to public health, but the individuals themselves aren't. So, I mean, come on. Let's have some standards. Mm. The, the um, so so, so they're the missing one fundamental point here about how web advertising works, aren't they? Just <laughs> so, a bit. so some dickhead. Uh, let's be honest. Some dickhead who spent a couple of days researching e-cigs and trying to find something bad to say about it because probably somebody's thinking, "Crap, they're going to cut our budget if people keep switching to these things." Right, starts digging around. And suddenly notices that they're getting all these e sync ads pushed their way. Why might that be, Dave? Well, now, I've already been accused of being a bit of a dinosaur when it comes to technology. But even this and Mark Jones are not 60 anything. <laughs> even this 58 year old understands that if you've been going to uh, websites that cover e sync then Google will serve you adverts about e-cigs. Now, had it been, and this is going to be awfully sexist and I do apologise, but had it been a 20-something-year-old researcher who had, who Mother Nature had visited rather earlier than she was expecting, shall we say, had been Googling, you know, uh, half-hour deliveries of ladies' goods for the purpose thereof and had hit 43 websites, when she'd gone to one of these places where she'd seen an advert for EC, she'd have seen an advert for tampons. For goodness sake, they need to know how the internet works. And patently, they bloody don't. Honestly. Seriously. And anyway, here's the point. And the question needs to be asked. Given that Gerard Hastings has admitted, well, not admitted, but he knows that e are much, much less risky than ordinary cigarettes, which would he rather a youth took up? Would he rather that we went and bought 20 Marlies? Other tobacco cigarettes are available. Or would he rather they went and picked up an e-cig? I know which way I would go. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? Well, well it is to you and me. It is to you and me, it's a no-brainer. But these guys, would I think they'd rather that they carried on buying fags, to be honest. I honestly think that's what they'd prefer. Well, that, then they've got somebody to tell it to stop, haven't they? Well, yeah. 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 A little annoying. Sorry, retweet. <laughs> it's about time for a, a, an update on that, I think. Um, Since I last did a refresh, I've got 140 new results. Oh, I have 840. <laughs> Sorry, 800, it's just going up and up. 860, and that's just on one of the hashtags that's out there. Um, and yes, I'm enough of a dinosaur that I don't know how to search on all three at once. I probably could have done. Um, but there you go. Um, it looks as though 
what I'm hearing is that it, it, it trended at number one in France and in Germany. Um, the likelihood of it trending in number one in the UK, given that ITV's gone off the air, um, and that stupid X Factor is on. Fairly low likelihood, but if it's trending in France and Germany, that's brilliant. Italy's Good been stuff. in the act. I've seen Italian tweets. Um, I've seen Spanish tweets. I've seen Dutch. I've seen Norwegian and uh, Swedish. And I've, I've tried to retweet one of everything. I'm, if I haven't retweeted yet, I'm sorry, but try to do a show as well. Um, I think it's brilliant. Good stuff. It is, it's looking great. It's looking uh, it's uh, every time you refresh the page another 20 come up fantastic and this is this is uh, without very boring as well now yeah <laughs> two lads in jail <laughs> some bread and water and uh, porridge well let's do a quick check up because we can on the uh, petition here um, that's uh, now at 12,057 I um, guess it's it, getting quite late on a Sunday night um, across most four, of the continent. Last four signatures have come from Poland, the United Kingdom, Hungary and the United Kingdom. And that's all within the last minute. It's just fantastic to watch. Yeah, they're ticking <laughs> up. There we go. United Kingdom, Czech Republic. It's fantastic. I mean, it really has been from all over the world that people have been uh, weighing in on this. And it shows just what a powerful medium. Uh, I, th I think mostly Twitter. I think it's Twitter that, that, that that's that's reaching people. Uh, Norway just popped up again. Another UK. It's just incredible. We're... Next one, we're going to be at 12,060 by now, I would think. Just waiting for the thing to refresh itself. There's somebody from France. <sighs> I think it's great. I've, been, I've actually spent probably uh, a worrying amount of time watching this thing tick along <laughs> today. <laughs> <coughs> I find it fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Um, right, so we're actually... Uh, we're, we're, we're nearing the end, you know. Are we? We are very much nearing the end. We started a little bit late, so we're finishing a little bit late. All right. And um, I think uh, it wouldn't <coughs> hurt to just do a little bit of a recap on what we've, uh, what we've been looking at tonight. Um, get yourself to sign this petition. Uh, we'll get the links into chat and in the show page and the YouTube page and what have you. Um, <clears throat> uh, just in case anybody doesn't know about it. But let, let's get this petition signed. Uh, it's the one entitled The European Parliament Save Electronic Cigarettes from Excessive EU Regulation. Which is a damn good title for it. And credit to Adrian D uh, for getting that started. Uh, we can get that to 20,000 by uh, by by uh, the third, that would be fantastic. It'd be one hell of an achievement, but it looks like we might do it. You know, it would be lovely if that happened, wouldn't it? Just we ain't going to be far short if we don't. Let's put it that way. But I reckon we can if we keep pushing it. Um, so get that signed. Um, the thunderclap thing. Uh, I'll, I'll get that up on the screen, and again, we'll make sure the links available for everybody on that. Uh, Sign up for this with your Twitter, Facebook and Tumblr account if you use Tumblr. And uh, there you go. You can see my social reach there is 1,944. I missed that earlier. So basically just by clicking those two boxes, 1,944 tweets and Facebook posts are going to get... People are going to get reached via Twitter and Facebook at noon on Wednesday. Uh, I'll refresh the page just to see if it's gone up any. Oh yeah, we've got a few more on there. We're, we've got 112 to go. 212 to go, should I say. So uh, let, let's plug this and get, get make sure that gets signed up, otherwise it won't happen. That's the way this thing works. Um, we need to continue to... Um, there's an article there, but we'll have a look at that next week, I think. There's. Um, we need to continue to get pressure on our MPs. Um, there's, there's a bunch of stuff that you can send them. Uh, you know, uh, don't forget uh, clivebates.com. Uh, he's organised your argument for you and, wh and what you need to say. If, you, if you're nervous about what you've got to say, it's all there. Clive's done it all for you. Um, I, I, would, I would say, if you, and if you want to see how to work under pressure, watch Wednesday's show. It's yes. Fantastic. Let's do that. Right. It's um, the end. Last yes. word, Dave. I've, I've 
I, 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 I'm not I'm not sad, so I can't take the last word from chat particularly. <laughs> well. I do want I do want to say though a big thank you to All About Forum and UKV who have emailed all of their members asking them to sign the petitions. I shall uh, well, just make sure that they're uh, the Planets of the Vapes and many other forums have too. Yes, and that's that's brilliant. Keep up the great work. I, I think this is fabulous. I am seeing the whole of the vaping community all over Europe coming together with one voice. Together we will win this. They'll take my e cigs away from me when they prize them from my cold, cold dead, dead hands. hands. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.